Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy and promo. Today is April 4th as of the recording of the video and Samsung just pushed off the latest software update to the Flip and the Fold devices. So if you own a Galaxy Z Flip 4 or the Galaxy Z Fold 4, you might wanna take a look. Also, if you own any of the other Flips and Folds, take a look to see if there's an update there as well. These ones got the April 1st patch first before the Galaxy S23 Ultra. And I believe it's because the next update for the Galaxy S23 Ultra is a pretty big one in terms of the camera, which I can talk about that here in just a second. But first, we'll just take a look at this one here. We're gonna see just how large they are. We're also gonna take a look inside of the update after the update and also all of these very small detailed informations to see if anything is high or moderate or critical updates. So these ones are gonna give you that April 1st security patch. For the Galaxy Z Fold 4, this size is 414 megabytes, and the version ends in CWC9. When it comes down to the Z Flip 4, uh, this size is going to be 394 megabytes, uh, ending in CWC9. So all I'm going to do here is I'll first show you where you can find this update if you don't see it pop up. I did not see this pop up when I searched for it. That was when it showed. Just go inside of your settings go inside of the software update, and then you go to download and install, and you just hit on the download button. So we're gonna go through, we're going to install this now. Another thing that I noticed is that I believe there's also going to be a update into the Galaxy Store itself. So there's a newer version of the Galaxy Store. And we'll also take a look inside of the Galaxy Store to see if there's anything new after this update uh, with these two devices. I've already covered this one with the Galaxy S23 Ultra a few days ago, but now we're gonna cover it with this one. Uh, it's usually at this point in the video, I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, especially the latest updates. Make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. And I do see it here on the camera. It looks like to be a little bit of a scratch, but don't worry, that's actually part of this little screen protector on this phone. So no, it's not the flip that actually has the issue. It's just basically protected and covered with the little film protector that we still have on this device. So I might get a comment or two stating or asking if it's cracked or scratched. Uh, it is not. Uh, thankfully. But other than that, let's wait for this to be done and then we'll take a look to see exactly what is all a part of this update. So now that the update is done and complete, I sent the Flip 4 back to the wife so she can use it. We're going to cover the rest with the Fold 4. But before we do that, I also want to talk about what the update we're waiting for is for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So a lot of these updates, there's about six or seven of them going to the camera itself. So this is what we're kind of waiting for coming up very soon, maybe within the next couple days. So the camera issue or the face recognition didn't work after ending a video call using a third-party app has been solved. Fix the bug, which sometimes displayed a green uh, line on the left side when using the rear-facing camera in the photo mode. Samsung has improved the stability of the camera app when the frame has moving subjects. An improvement in the gallery app allows you to immediately delete photos that were just captured and are getting processed. Improve the banding issue that appeared in the sky in mid-low ambient light and when using high resolution 50 megapixel or 200 megapixel, the overall sharpness has been improved in 50 megapixel and 200 megapixel modes. Samsung has also solved the intermittent uh, blurring issue by enhancing the optical image stabilization performance. Samsung has also solved the, that image quality issue when night mode is turned off and the camera assistant app is set to the following setting, which is shooting mode, high resolution, high priority, and improve the video stabilization when the resolution is to full HD 60 frames per second and the auto uh, frames per second setting is turned off while using the rear facing camera. So there is a lot of updates coming to the Galaxy S23 Ultra or the S23 series with this next security patch update, which is hopefully gonna be in the next couple days because the Galaxy S23 Ultra is still running on March 1st. So again, that's probably why it's delayed and we're seeing it first with the flip and the fold. So the flip and the folds update has been fully complete. Now let's say that we go in side and we want to take a look at the the very detailed information when it comes down to the high risk medium risk critical risk things like that and then we're going to take a look at a few other applications that i that i took a look at beforehand to see if there's newer versions so first we're going inside of about phone and we'll take a look at the software information update so inside of the software information you can see that we're now running that android security patch level um, you know for february 1st when i tap on this it's just going to take us over into a source website it's going to be the source.android 
Android.com. Uh, this is where we're able to read what is going on with these updates. So we're gonna go inside of this top option here, which is for Android. Now with inside of Android, this is where you wanna go and click on Samsung. Now in this page here, this is all from Samsung Mobile Security. So this is the security updates. You can see here that it's for April of 2023. Scrolling on down, we can see that there are four of them that are uh, critical. We have quite a few of them that are high. So this is at least like 40 or 50 of them. Looks like one more sitting there that's moderate. And then, and this was basically all pretty much on the Google side of things. And then on, as you scroll on down in terms of the Samsung semiconductor patch included in this one, there's only one which is moderate. Um, from Samsung. So we're going to scroll down, try to read what a few of these ones are, the out of bounds right stuff. I don't know exactly what that one is. Look like something for uh, this one was severity of high, which is underneath the security settings, improper input validation with Exynos fast boot USB interface. So if you have an Exynos device, this one might be going for you. Let's see here, scrolling on down, improper uh, access control vulnerability in SEM clip board. This one was just moderate. This one was reported on December 15th. So it's pretty fun that you can go through, you can try to read you know, through all of these to see exactly what they are. I mean, this one was from November 28th. This one was from December 8th. Um, this one was talking about improper authorization and smart suggestions. And so that was a high severity. So something that was offered within smart suggestions is maybe not there or changed or a patch was updated for that. So that was pretty much everything that was, you know, going through some that were very, very detailed. Now we're just going to take a look inside of the camera uh, and a few other applications and features as part of Samsung. So before this update, this version was 13.1.0014, 13.1.0014. So nothing new with that camera there. If we're to press and hold on gallery, we're going to see if there's a newer one here. This one started as 14.1.0.3.1. This is 14.1.0.3.1. So nothing new there. We're going to take a look at Samsung Home just for fun. This one was 14.1.0.3.19. This one is 14.1.0.3.19. So no new versions there. And then we're just going to take a look at Samsung Internet as well. Uh, and again, some of these might could be very small updates or it could just be simply a security patch update. Uh, this one was 20.0.3.10. 20.0.3.10. So in terms of the four that I took a look at beforehand, none of those got updated, but we did take a look at that Android thread, the Samsung thread showing us basically every single thing that was new with this update, all the little patch updates. So that's kind of where everything is located. Now you also want to take a look inside of your Galaxy store as well, just because sometimes you'll have a brand new version. So you can see here a brand new version of the Galaxy store. So here's the new version 4.5.53.6. So we're just gonna go through, get this thing uh, updated. Then inside of here, you wanna take a look at what else can be updated. Sometimes they actually add in more applications after an update has been completed. Also what happens sometimes is this could have said the number four or five before the update and during it, it actually did it for us. So after the update, this is what we're left with. We have game launcher for an update. We also have global goals for an update and then the Samsung text to speech as an update as well. So don't forget to take a look in that area because sometimes when you're, when you're searching through some of these Samsung applications, like I sometimes do with these videos, sometimes they're actually just sitting right inside of the galaxy store rather than being done over the air for from Samsung themselves. Sometimes you just have to manually get it done. Now that was really everything that I wanted to cover in today's video. And if you ever wanna go back and take a look at what you just got done updating, you just go inside of the software information one more time, click on last update. You can see when you last updated it, which is right now. And then this is where you can read it. You can see the size. Uh, the version it just talks about a software update can include, but not limited to device stability improvements, bug fixes, and or enhanced features, further improvements to performance, things like that. So most of it was mostly just the bug fixes and stability improvements, which we've seen, you know, when we took a look inside of the Samsung mobile security page, but that's everything I wanted to cover in today's video. Now I'm just waiting for the update to the Galaxy S23 series because that is a big one when it comes to the camera, as you've seen earlier in this video. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.